This is Bonnie and Clyde. They were darted, robbed of their horns and left to die. Anaesthetized for a lengthy period and lying on their sides caused massive organ damage. Their condition remains critical. NGOs are stepping in to save this endangered species. And we have learned from previous experience here in the Eastern Cape, particularly with darted animals, that we can we can pull them through from some amazing injuries. And um, yeah, that's that's work in progress. Uh, but there are um, an enormous amount of organisations, professional people, laboratories, um, technological equipment that we're trying to get together that can that can uh, help us treat them better and, and save as many as we can. International rhino poachers zoom in on South Africa. Each year they kill hundreds for their valuable horn. It fetches more per ounce than precious metals. And the poachers are superbly outfitted. Things like vehicles, transport is always a problem. Um, and some of the more specialized equipment. You know, the teams that are operating out there, the poaching teams, are very well resourced and with excellent equipment, top of the range, uh, firearms, um, GPS's, all the things that they need, all those toys, and we just don't have the resources that um, are similar to what they have. More rhinos have been poached this year compared to the same period last year. Janine Lee, SABC News, Port Elizabeth.